Peace be with you. Welcome back to part two, Divine Union Under Attack. And now it is too late. We left off where judgment was being handed to these people by way of spirit, knowing where everybody is per spiritual address, by spiritual name or the lack thereof. Listen, you got people running scared, y'all. I'm going to clear the board here and just pull from the energy of those cackling witches because I feel like the backstory to this love story really takes precedence over what actually happened between these two lovers, unfortunately, because again, this masculine was under some heavy ass spell work. I believe that maybe they could have tried to put this feminine under spell work as well. However, the masculine was the weakest link. I just feel for whatever reason, this masculine was not as evolved as the feminine. Needless to say, let's go ahead and just dive into the energy. If this is your first time here, welcome back to part two of this message. I think we all were kind of anticipating this, especially by way of it leaving off with judgment being at the forefront of the current energy, which is, uh, well, I mean, judgment's at the forefront of all current energies coincidentally right now. And I don't really think there's anything that anybody can do to change that. Libra season is so intense by way of balance, but I think what's really going to take a lot of people by surprise is the scorpionic energy. That death, that transformation and that rebirth is not going to leave room for anything that is not willing to adhere to justice and judgment. So you got some people that are literally fighting with the universe by way of judgment and justice dodging karma if you will right maybe i'll do a whole video on that i think that's going to be my next download people out here dodging karma holy spirit divine ancestors let me pull from these cards just because they're so shiny they're so nice and if i have to tell the story then it might as well be the shiny cards because that matters it absolutely does matter as i do my work archangel Michael, divine ancestors please assist me with current energy on this situation Two divine lovers who were under attack. Yeah, I just heard there's no turning back. Somebody doesn't want this union again. Somebody could be denouncing the fact that this was a twin to start with. I feel as though whoever you are as a divine feminine, you extracted the information. You took the meat from the situation. You took the lesson rather, right? And you just kind of walked away peacefully. I'm getting bowed out gracefully type of an energy. And this is what's really not resting well with this masculine. Okay, because this masculine is saying it's not over till it's over. And for whatever reason, I'm getting this kill bill type of an energy, right? Where this masculine's got like this death list of people that he's coming for that affected his life greatly and stopped him from being ultimately with the love of his life, or at least that's how he sees it at this particular time. Holy Spirit, open up that door for me of truth, love, and light. Please put a shield of protection around me. Anything that is trying to come for me and the beautiful divine collective, we don't give it. Mm, yeah, we don't give it any energy. Listen, these two cards just fell out. It's the end for you, divine feminine. Whatever somebody thought that they were doing, okay, um, I don't think they anticipated that you wouldn't go back. I think this was the, this was the ultimate surprise okay somebody thought that you would always come back to this situation and maybe they felt that by doing that you would always be kind of under this spiritual attack right they never anticipated this masculine would wake up they never anticipated that you would walk away and never come back knowing that this was a twin flame dynamic by way of you denouncing and or um kind of annihilating the contract i feel like something by way of the liberation giving me setting you free from this contract type of an energy surprise a lot of people the world is here closing out a cycle because of this this is a tower this is only making this masculine more angry that's it it's making this masculine more angry hold on y'all i'm trying to get my earbuds together yeah it just helps block out the noise as i'm talking here yeah so in that somebody's shocked Okay, show me this masculine and these people. Yeah, this masculine could be going through. Um, I just heard love sick. Okay. Exhaustion, fatigue. 
This person feels as though they're battling a lot of things internally and externally. Like it's like, okay, I'm willing to go within and I can control and or conquer the enemy on the inside of me, right? Now that I'm dedicated to this awakening by way of the four swords, spirit set that ass down to think. Okay, I just heard think and sink. This person's sinking into their thoughts, okay? Thinking very deeply. This is what I'm getting. But at the same time, having to battle these outside forces and or these enemies has become a bit taxing, especially now that this person knows that you're not coming back. Yeah, this person's deep in thought, thinking about everything that you did for them, uh, what you could have told them, what you could have taught them spiritually, all right. I feel as though maybe you really went in. You could have explained uh, spirituality, soulmate contracts. Uh, maybe you taught this masculine something about defending himself by way of cleansing. Something to that extent, whatever it was, it was the ultimate sacrifice of love. This person is saying, I know that you heavily invested in me. I need you now, though, because we're fighting these people. And you're like, we're not doing anything. I've walked away. I've closed out the cycle. You're fighting these people. I feel as though this person took too long to recognize the enemy. Okay. And because of that, this person kept going back to the enemy's camp. I just heard returning to your vomit. Oof. Yeah. Like why you keep going back to these toxic ass people that clearly, you know, don't have your best interest. This person knew that for some reason they felt obligated. Um, I just feel like it was spell work, just somebody in a state of confusion, you know, feeling very discombobulated type of an energy, not of swords. This person's like, I'm out here fighting by myself for us. Okay. This person's under an illusion. This person is really wanting to come in and give you some type of an offer, but I don't even know if you're emotionally available. Yeah. This is a failed attempt. Somebody can't get through. Somebody's working really, really hard, toil and labor to get back into your good graces but this person's doing it in a nine of pentacles energy by way of really taking their sweet time. Yeah, they're just like moseying on down the yellow brick road. Like, okay, she'll be there. Something about the love that you gave Divine Feminine got this person feeling real comfortable. Got them feeling real, real comfortable, you know, in the sense that they feel that they have enough time that, you know, I'm getting that time is on my side. Yes, it is. No, baby, the clock is ticking. The door is closed. This person, this person is like having wishful thinking uh, to the point of, of like um, putting themselves at, at some type of risk of losing you. Because again, they're, they're losing track of time. They keep thinking about the past, you know, only to look up and be like, oh my God, it's been five years. I've been sitting here thinking about this same thing. Like, yeah, you lost time. This person's not coming back, love. You have to move on with your life and take this experience. But they can't stop thinking about the way you poured into them. Whatever you did, this person ain't never had no love like this. I just heard you love me. You love me like my mama loved me. You know, love, care. This person could have been somebody that, like I said, just had a lot of lustful connections. A lot of Knight of Wands energies. Yeah. This person is doing like a full reevaluation of self. They're thinking about their childhood. They're thinking about their past relationships. Show me the show me the wicked witches. Yeah, I can't make it up. He he knows. Ten of Swords. This is the ultimate betrayal. This is family. This is people that said that they cared, that they were happy for this person. He's starting to really figure it out. He could have consulted with an older gentleman, somebody that he thought really cared about him, only to know that this person betrayed him. Yeah, this person, and this is somebody in his family or somebody that he treated like family. Whoever this older masculine is, they could have given him some really old, outdated, like, beliefs. You know, very caveman. You know, I'm the king. Arr, you know, what? what is that? Re relax. When you got a real divine feminine and a queen in your hand, you win, baby. All you got to do is relax and talk to her sweet. Why would you do that to somebody that would do anything for you? It's not adding up spiritually lovers by way of love it's not it's not mathing by way of the love equation you give love you get love it's reciprocal right very simple this person's turned their back on everybody they're saying i know exactly who everybody is i know what it is that they've done this person could be trying to energetically communicate with you 
Okay, you could be having dreams about this person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords, this person sees you as cold, disconnected, not non-responsive, <laughs> not responding and very non-responsive. It's a 911 situation. Somebody needs to be resuscitated and it's not you. This person feels as though you have options. They could feel as though you've moved on. Uh, this is really putting this person in a, yeah, a state of paranoia. This person says, you are the love of my life. Call me crazy, but I think I found the love of my life. This is somebody that had a fair share of beautiful women. I'm not going to lie. You know, passionate nights, uh, lustful connections, but nothing deep, nothing worth salvaging, right? And this is why these weird ass energies around him, for whatever reason, didn't want to see him happy with you. They could have seen that this masculine was doing something different with you that he had never done. And this bothered them. Here's the reality, though. This person was just ready, though, Divine Feminine. When you came across this person, this person was ready. What I do see is that this person would get to certain levels of their awakening and then revert back to uh, this non-committal energy, which is part of the witchcraft, was to keep this person in an illusion uh, that this was the same type of woman that they were dealing with, that, that they had always dealt with. That was the illusion that they were under. Like, oh, this is just the same. This is not real, non-committal. So something was pulling you two apart. I'm getting a pull. All the while, this person, again, could have gone back to somebody and offered them a cup of love. And then when they realized it, it was just like, it was too late. Trying to hold on to you, they knew that they had already made a really serious mistake. Five of Cups, this person cries a lot. This person cries a lot. Yeah, this person saying no, no. Like crying, no, no, this can't be real. Yeah, they want a new beginning, okay? They know that you're intuitive. They know that you can feel. This person sees you as psychic, intuitive. You could have shared your spiritual gifts with this person. Like I said in the previous reading, you could be a reader. You could just be somebody that's really about their spirituality. Maybe you meditate. Maybe you do tarot. Um, something about your intuition and your psychic abilities. Something about your dreams. You could have shared some dreams with this person. I feel like maybe you guys were having the same dreams. Wow, talk about a connection. It's like, hey, I had a dream and somebody was chasing us. Hey, I had a dream and somebody was like, you know, like it's really giving a deep, deep, deep connection, y'all. Like y'all having the same dreams at night by way of dream state. This person could be astral projecting at night without realizing it. Also now more aware that somebody was siphoning their power at night. Whoever this mother figure is, this person's real controlling. Yeah, they don't like that. They don't like this person being with anybody. It's almost like they want to keep this person as like a little boy. This could be a godmother, an auntie, somebody that they see as a mother figure or a mother. Okay. An actual mother. Yeah. They just want them. It's like, oh, my little, my little baby boy. And it's like, girl, he's 46 by himself. And you done done witchcraft over all the relationships. Like it's not working out because he's cutting her off too. Show me these witches, Archangel Michael. Show me the witches. I feel like somebody's trying to undo their work because the karma is too bad. They didn't think that it would put this man in a situation like this. Yeah, I, I can't make it up. They're still trying to blind him from the truth. They don't want him to know that it was them. He's already seen it, okay? There's a few of them that maybe he's wondering, he's not sure. Somebody's still trying to blind him from the truth, okay? The Hierophant is here. Spiritual practitioner, this could be somebody that he was really close to. Somebody that told him they were happy for him. Nine of Cups, wishes being fulfilled. Three of Pentacles, whatever this is. Somebody's talking behind the scenes. This masculine could go and get tarot card readings on you. Whoever this person is that they tried to get the divination from was somebody that was working against them. Maybe they went and tried to get some type of reading. This person was giving this person bad advice. What they did not tell this masculine by way of what they were seeing I can't say they totally lied to him, but what they weren't telling this person was about this background energy, these workers in the background. Yeah, now this person is upset because the lesson here was, hey, I have to think for myself. You know, this Hierophant, whoever this is, they weren't telling this person about the interference. Yeah, here we go. Three of Wands. Three represents something in between two. Okay, three, two slices of bread. Something's in between there. Three. Three of Wands, this could have been a lover at a distance. Okay, somebody that, yeah, somebody's under judgment. Somebody from the past, Six of Cups. This was not somebody that was even close in proximity. This person could have just been watching.
by way of social media, whoever this person was, yeah, two of wands, somebody was at a distance. This was a lover that was far away. So maybe this Hierophant did not know. Maybe this person came off as a friend, Knight of Cups. Maybe they, you know, used to be together and they just decided to be friends or whatever it is. And, you know, this masculine, masculine could have said, you know, hey, I'm happy. I'm with somebody. Whatever it is, they felt comfortable telling this person what was going on in their life. Two of Wands, okay? Somebody was at a distance. And this is why I feel as though they went somewhat unsuspected by way of doing this dark energy, okay? Show me what I need to see. Yep, Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Pisces, and or Cancer. Why is that here for the lover? Yep, High Priestess. Piscean energy, Leo energy. There could have been three people here. There absolutely was. There was three witches, a queen of cups, a water sign, two water signs, and maybe a fire sign. These are three different women, but again, collaborating by way of the spirit realm to, it's like almost like they were in competition for this masculine, but they were willing to work together to keep this masculine away from you, divine feminine. I don't know. That's weird. Like, damn, <laughs> we don't like each other, but we'll get together by way of this masculine being the common denominator. And just so we don't see this person happy with anybody. And I think what they thought, High Priestess here, whoever this person is, she's very intuitive, strength, Leo energy, very, very strong connection. This could have been a karmic lover, okay? This could have been the missed opportunity was this one, or this was the friend. Somebody was just a mutual friend. Somebody was a friend too that he was not involved with that liked him and maybe he didn't realize it. Queen of Cups, somebody was in the middle here, yep. This is what they didn't anticipate. They were supposed to break him up with you, okay? Or just project so much negativity onto him that it would just irritate the relationship and force you to walk away of what you did as guided by spirit. But what they didn't anticipate is that he wouldn't go back to any of them. Somebody's waiting for, the, for this man to come back. They're like, okay, now she's gone. Now what? And he wants a new beginning with you. Damn, this is crazy. Eight of Cups. This man walked away from everybody. He can see what happened. He knows what it is. Yeah, King of Wands. You know, the King of Wands is very, very attractive, confident, leader. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person wants to apologize to you. A lot of pride and ego, though. Ten of Cups. Yeah, Death Card is here. He's gone through some type of a major transformation. And it's almost like he wants to show you how much he's changed. He knows that spiritually, if anybody will understand, it will be you. He's saying, I want the Ten of Cups with you. You make me happy. It's almost like he wants to find you to say, hey, like I've been reading my Bible or hey, I've been cleansing. I've been meditating. Like these were things that this person was not into. Okay. He could be researching the occult. Okay. He could be researching lineage information by way of trying to figure out Things about his ancestral bloodline, all because you you came in and awakened him. All right. Damn, this is crazy. But you walked away. That's what's really hard to accept. Not just what people have done. He's okay with that because he's king of swords on that ass. And he's taking care of them by removing himself. But the world card and the tower, he he's just like, I can't accept the fact that this person is not coming back. He's saying, no matter where you are, I need to be connected to you. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Yep. He's working hard, toiling labor. Three of swords. He's heartbroken. Damn. Crying out. Y'all hear the cat? Crying. Damn. It's a silent cry though. He doesn't trust anybody with his emotions. He could be on the surface telling people like, no, I'm good. You know, I'm just focused on my work. Eight of pentacles is somebody that's just really about their stability, but working so they don't have to think about reality. Three of Swords, this is a hard one to get over. This man has been through hard breakups, okay? For whatever reason, obviously, he's lived long enough to where he's he's been in pain before, but never to this extent. I just heard him say, when will the pain go away? I just keep getting no, like, no, this is not reality. Like, no, it's not that she's not coming back. Yeah, because he did something to push you away. He's under judgment. Yep, he's in regret. Damn, magic is here. Oh my goodness. Well, 
Sometimes that's just the way that the cookie crumbles. I don't know re really what else to say. Show me what else I need to see. Somebody's trying to undo the work. Somebody's trying to undo the work on this union, y'all. Because the karma under the, these witches and whatever they got going on is too hard to bear. Somebody's like, oh my God, just put them back together already. Like, it's too much. There's so many people in the background that did witchcraft. These were the main exes, but you got aunties. You got a cousin. Like, what the hell? Four wands. Somebody's like, put them back together already. Lord, it's too hard to watch him suffer. This is crazy. Yeah, they want a new beginning. Somebody's trying to do some type of magic to put y'all back together. A red mother freaking flag. You can't do magic over no divine feminine that's awakened. You're still violating spiritual law. You're, this is why y'all asses is under judgment. Because you're doing it because you got caught. You're doing it because it failed. You're trying to put them back together, not because it's genuine. You're trying to put them back together because you don't want to eat this karmic pie. You better eat your karmic pie. You hear Gamble blowing the horn? Judgment is judgment season, baby. We told you it was coming. You should have left these people alone, but you can't turn back the hands of time. It's too late. Whatever they did, whatever y'all did to put this high priestess, this empress, this divine feminine in jeopardy, she saw fit by way of sitting with her divine spirit team that this door got to be closed, baby, and nailed shut. She's loving this man from afar. She said, I cannot spiritually afford to put myself in jeopardy again by way of pouring into you. Because something was, was, was over and over. This man is saying, but you weren't supposed to leave. Seven of Pentacles. This person has, is dealing with their shadow by way of abandonment. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Past investments. The past. Thinking heavily about the past. King of Pentacles. This person is trying to get their money up. This person is also watching you be very independent without them. Somebody's trying to put y'all back together. Somebody's like, oh, we messed up. But here's the way the dynamics of the universe works, y'all. Even in this, it needs to be organic. You can't force two people to be together. You can't pull them because what it's doing is it's pushing this divine feminine further and further away. Because she's saying, have a real conversation with me or don't have a conversation at all. As a matter of fact, I'm going to close the door. I don't want a conversation. This is catching everybody off guard. Because remember, simultaneously, their asses is under karma. They're still getting that ass taxed in the spirit realm. Whether, this, whether they try to put y'all back together or not. Yeah, not at once. Yeah, you're moving forward. Somebody wants to come in. Whoever this person is, fire sign energy, this king of wands, this person misses you. They want to come in and try to have a friendship. Okay, they could be working on their stability. They want to apologize. Yeah, you've moved forward. Queen of Pentacles. This person could see you as their wife, a long-term partner. Or maybe y'all just saw each other as husband and wife, even if you technically weren't married. Some of y'all could have been married. The devil is here. Desires. Somebody's desiring you. Somebody's really, really trying to manifest. But in that, they're trying to skip over levels of liberation by way of this Libran energy. I'm going to need y'all to get this Libran energy. Okay. You can't skip from step one to 12 when you got to go through levels, baby. By way of karma, there's levels to this. Y'all did a whole bunch long before this divine feminine showed up. Y'all have been working this person for 30 some years. 20 years, high school, fast forward. You got a lot of karma to eat. So the fact now that people are falling ill, getting sick, losing money, losing jobs, losing their minds, after y'all been working this masculine, he's going through a massive awakening, not just because of this lover. This lover was the catalyst, okay, to y'all's inflictions, afflictions or whatever you want to call it. You inflicted pain on this man and now you're dealing with the afflictions of what it is that you did. Let's keep it clear. Let's be clear. 
This was going on long before this love relationship happened. Somebody's got a monitoring spirit on somebody. This masculine is like pulling at you. Wanting you to come back, but ain't ready to have the talk like, bruh, this person and closed the door and locked it, baby. It's a wrap. Show me what I need to see. The sun is here. Things have been illuminated. Seven of cups. I cannot make it up. Some type of an illusion, y'all. Six of pentacles. This person says, I have a lot of choices. I'll, I'm in very deep regret by way of the four of cups. I'm heavily, heavily in regret by the way things have ended. Seven of Cups. I have a lot of options, but I love you. This is a very handsome guy, y'all. Very good looking King of Wands. Confident. Fine, honey. The sun. Something was illuminated. You're like, no, I'm fine. Six of Pentacles. This person wants equal give and take. The chariot is here. Okay. They want to move forward with you, but you've already moved forward. This person could be trying to figure out where you live. Show me the damn Divine Feminine because I just feel like you got something else going on. And I just feel like you came through and you was like, oh, this was an assignment. I accept that. You know, like it's unfortunate, but this was an assignment. You understood the assignment. <laughs> I mean, let's have a real commercial break. What the hell is going on here, y'all? Can we have a commercial break? Thank you. Listen, what in the entire hell is going on here? I just heard every love song comes on the radio reminds you of this man and this man, it reminds them of you. Damn, show me the divine feminine. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you've, you, you've already gone. Three of wands. If you haven't moved to a distance, you're moving. You're gone. Three of wands. You're looking forward to some new type of an experience. Okay, the three of wands gives me distance between the past. Yeah, page of wands. You're following your passions. King of swords. Yeah, like I said, you're regretting that you even had to get yourself into this. Maybe you felt like, you know what? My next relationship, that's going to be it. And I feel like when you made your decision to walk away, it was a swift action. This king of swords gives me like swift, intelligent you know, listen to my spirit guides, action, king of swords. You you was like, I'm out. Page of wands, you're following your passions. This person was immature. You see this person is immature. You see them as somebody that fumbled you. You see them as somebody that you gave a few opportunities. And maybe this person thought that you would constantly be sitting there giving them all these opportunities. You could have encouraged this person like, yo, listen, we need to move away. Okay. This person wanted to drag their feet because you knew that somebody was doing spell work. Somebody could have been driving past y'all's house, calling in the middle of the night. Somebody did not want y'all to be together. Physically, mentally, somebody was working real hard. And now it's backfiring on their ass. Somebody was sending conflict spells, confusion spells. Just really working this masculine, y'all. You could have tried to cleanse this person. Something that you did. <clears throat> excuse me. Something that you did made this masculine a believer by way of showing them something spiritually. You backed something up spiritually off this person. Okay, this person could have been under some type of spiritual attack, like I said, from one of these witches that, they, that wanted them back, wanted him back, and he didn't want to go back. Whoever this Leo is, he absolutely did think that this was his person. There was some type of an encounter while you all were together. And then he started to awaken and he felt really guilty. By that time, it was too late. He had already violated your union and he knew a empress and a high priestess. Oh, no, you're not going to share me, especially not by way of lust. You're absolutely not going to do that. Ace of Cups, this person wants a new beginning. Somebody's trying to draw him back in with lust. Yeah, they're still trying to do magic. Whoever a, the cancer is. Hey, there could be a cancer involved. Yeah, somebody's trying to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Equal give and take. This could also be a karmic soulmate, somebody that they thought was their person. Yeah, wanted a victory. There also is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This person was very uh, sought after. <laughs> this person got some, whoever their exes are, King of Wands, these people don't want to go nowhere. They all want a new beginning. Jesus. 
I feel like this man has been forced to grow up. Yes, yeah, seven of cups. Yeah, king of pentacles. You know the truth. You got options too. You're saying I got options as well, but I'm definitely not going to be one of many options. If somebody does not see me in a group full of women and they don't feel my energy, then you're just not my person and I'm okay with that. I'd rather move forward in truth. King of pentacles. Okay, you're about work right now. You're about focus, stability. You could not even be really looking for a union, even though when you go to a distance, something is there for you by way of new love and a new beginning. Ace of Swords, this person can feel it. You know the truth in the matter. Whatever they're doing, because I feel like this person's projecting a lot of energy onto you, trying to communicate with you in the ethers. You could be feeling a little irritated because you feel like somebody's trying to pull at your energy. Mm. This person can't even look themselves in the face, I heard. Damn. He's trying to move on, though. He wants to be with somebody, y'all. Yep, seven of wands. You're very spiritually protected. Your ancestors are blocking this person. Yep. I just heard I'll never find anybody like you. It's almost like you raised the bar, though. Okay, if it's any consolation, you def definitely and absolutely did raise the bar in this situation. I feel as though if it's not you or better by way of what you exhibited towards this masculine by way of love, okay, honesty, truth, spirituality, he doesn't want it. He's saying it's going to be really, really hard to find somebody that that loves me the way you loved me. And I'm never going to forget that. Yeah. The chariot, he knows that you're walking away. He knows it. He's 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 like preparing himself for the ultimate loss. If you are still within close proximity or in the same state, he knows that you're going to leave completely and go further, further away. Something about you moving forward. But what he doesn't understand, I think, is that you're not moving away from him. You're moving forward with your life. Something's guiding you. Yeah. The moon is here. He's hiding his feelings. Knight of Cups. Yeah, he's hiding his feelings. Ten of Pentacles. He wants to be with you. He knows that you have gifts. Okay? He's sending you some type of psychic, intuitive energy. Knight of Cups is somebody with feelings, deep emotions. Okay? He could be reflecting on his first heartbreak, heartache, by way of high school. Okay, comparing that, trying to figure out who he is as a man, but he's definitely going within. And what he's looking for is big based on what you've shown him. You gave this man some type of love, baby, that whoever comes after you, if he does fall in love again, I just heard no. He, he could feel that way right now, but hopefully as time goes on, his heart will heal. He's saying no. His, he's blocked right now because he knows that if he ever falls in love again, the person has to be just like you. What's that song? The very first time that I saw your brown eyes. 3222. Whatever that song is, what he says, if I ever fall in love again, I will be sure that the lady is just like you. This is what he's saying. Y'all, I can hear the download. The moon is here. You could have heard that on the radio recently. He has deep emotions. He's hiding his feelings, though. This man is nervous. Ten of Pentacles. He's just trying to block it out. I feel as though he's had some heartbreaks. He's had some disappointment, but he didn't see this coming, y'all. Mm, swords are at the bottom of the deck. Six of Swords. That's thoughts. Ten of Cups. Like how? It's a tower. She's not coming back. He's really channeling a lot of energy. This person could be astral projecting over you. I feel like people are watching him while he's watching you. And so if you feel something in your energy, it's him, but it's other people in his energy still trying to watch him. And he's not going back. He's like, I don't want to go back. There's somebody here that's a mutual friend, okay? Wherever this mutual friend is, show me this mutual friend. Yep. Yeah. 
this person is trying to trap him. This is somebody that could be a female friend that he confides in. Eight of Swords. This person's in her head. She could have also done some type of witchcraft as well. This is somebody that he confided in. They're watching him no longer feel trapped. Eight of Swords is being in a self-imposed imprisonment. The Fool represents getting over your fears and taking a leap of faith. Somebody's watching him. Somebody really wants to know the dynamics of the relationship. They're like, what did she do to him? Because I don't feel as though this was a lustful connection. I don't even feel as though it was a lot of sex, y'all. Because somebody did something like magic to him, you know, where y'all really got to know each other on a deeper level. It was it was a deep kind of love and it wasn't predicated on anything lustful. OK, two of wands. Yeah. Something about being at a distance. Death card, scorpionic energy. He's saying, I should have just I should have listened to you. And I should have just left. I should have just put an end to this. Yep, you could have told him, like, we got to get out of here. Somebody was doing a lot of witchcraft. Somebody could have thrown something at your house, driven past the house. Somebody was really working, y'all, okay, to keep y'all apart. And somehow they did something by way of energy because this is not somebody that's ignorant to uh, magic. I feel like this person knows something about magic. And if somebody convinced this person by way of that higher font, the person in their family, to do something against you. Maybe with them thinking that you had done something to them. But in reality, there was a lot of background noise. There was a lot of confusion. Even this Hierophant is feeling bad right now because what they feel off of this man is heartbreak. Everybody thought it was funny to break y'all up, but now they can't deal with the fact that he's in this state of mind. He doesn't answer anybody's calls. He goes to work and he's just like trying to wait until this, to this pain passes. This is what he's feeling. Like, I'm just going to wait till the pain passes. And now he's nervous by where this tower, like, is the pain ever going to pass? The death card is here. You know, he's thinking two of wands. I should have just gone to a distance with you. I should have just not felt trapped. Like, I should have come out of this mental entrapment that I was in, like, broken free of this spell. He's embarrassed that he was under witchcraft when he knows a lot about witchcraft. He could have done witchcraft in the past. He could have, like I said, done some type of witchcraft on you. He's having to eat that karma. Why didn't I just take the leap of faith and go through my transformation? This is what he's thinking. He's watching you move forward. Yeah, nine of swords. This man is going through it. But he's too afraid to reach out to you because he's too afraid of rejection. I can't make it up. King of swords. Nine of swords, king of swords. Mental, mental, mental. In his head. All day. Feeling trapped. What happens now with my life, he's saying. Where do I go now? I prayed for an angel, okay? And that was my empress. You could have moved on, okay? Yeah, the will of fortune. What goes around comes around. The emperor, this is your person. Damn, queen of pentacles. Lord, have mercy. Lord, it's under judgment. The whole relationship is under judgment. This man could have called judgment on the whole relationship. He feels as though, like you could have said, I'm calling judgment. I don't even believe this man knew about judgment, justice, karma, anything. I think he was just living out karmic cycles. I think he knew about the dark arts, yes. But karma, he was like, eh, okay, whatever. Okay. But this man is calling judgment down on this union. He's calling judgment down on you. <laughs> He's calling judgment down on them. He's just, he didn't lost it, baby. He didn't lost it. The nights are hard, I heard. The nights are hard. The nights are really hard. He wakes up a lot in the night. He's clear audience, y'all. Mm-hmm. Five of swords. He can hear something about his gift being clear audience. He can hear from miles away, baby. He is listening, honey. He could probably tap into this reading. That's a gift. Five of swords. Conflict. Three of Cups, whoever the third party is, maybe there was somebody else outside that he kind of did something with, like I said, and it was too late. Whoever this fire sign is, this friend, okay, was doing some type of fire magic on y'all, okay, trying to burn y'all apart, trying to break y'all up, whatever this is, Three of Cups, it's, all they're doing is fighting. He don't even want to talk to this person. Whoever that Hierophant is, they told them that this was their person. Somebody just didn't want to see him happy. So now he knows that he was lied to, not just by somebody that he trusted spiritually in his family. This is a high-ranked hierophant. 
They didn't tell him about all this mess that was going on in the background. They just knew that, damn, if he grows to this capacity, he's not going to need me anymore as their spiritual uh, practitioner. Everybody wanted this man to stay at this immature state like, oh, you know, that's little what's his name. No, he's a full grown king. He's gone through a transformation by way of the love that you came in and brought. And justice is here. He wants justice. He wants justice in all matters, period, period, because he's under some karma too. He's very, very humble. Yeah, seven of pentacles. He can't stop thinking about the past and what you did. He can't stop. His mind just can't. It's like he can't watch enough movies. He can't read enough books. He can't be on his phone enough. It's just nothing satisfying his spirit at this point. Seven of pentacles. He's thinking about just how kind you were. Two of Cups is here. You offered him a cup of love and he rejected you because he listened to other people. And there was a lot of shit going on. Now you got this new beginning and he's watching you thrive. And that's really hard to watch. Yeah, Page of Cups, he wants to apologize. You are my wish fulfillment, he says. You are my past life soul soulmate. This is a past life connection. He's manifesting you back in. It could be irritating in your energy because you feel like, nah, you can't even have a conversation with me and I just don't have time. Yeah, you've moved on. This is the message, though. This is part two of the reading. I mean, like, damn, I don't know what else to say to y'all, but oof, Lord, welcome to judgment season. It's real. It's real deal. Holy feel. Somebody is somebody's trying to pull y'all back together. Somebody feels real guilty for breaking y'all up, but they don't understand. They're still violating spiritual law. They're still violating spiritual law, y'all. This is not the way you put somebody back together. You don't do that. You don't try to do more love spells. Somebody's still trying to do love spells. Like put them back together already because they're afraid of how he's going to react. He's whooping everybody's ass. He says all these bitches are going to pay. This is what he said. He's taking everybody down and they're afraid. So they're just like, put them back together. No, what do you mean? This high priestess, whoever these, uh, these witches are, they're losing rank. They're losing power. Okay. Yeah, these are these are uh willing side pieces, okay? They're willing to share this man. He doesn't want to be in a lustful connection anymore. You showed him something deep. Okay? You make him think very deeply. And this is what they fail to realize. Mm, mm, mm. Holy Spirit, please close this door, return any evil eye. Lord have mercy whatever the hell is going on in this situation. Please close the door. Please. Ooh, this is the message though wherever y'all are i love y'all la 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 until the next video peace be with you